hello it's red brick bob coming at you we're gonna just try to make a short brief not too long of a video about uh, three state parks and then give you a overhaul um a overall not overhaul overall look at all the parks and these uh all these municipal golf courses that our government has and and i'm going to show you that meltology is going to show you why we have all these parks and why they've been redesignated as parks. I'm going to talk about three of them right here in Pennsylvania. World's End State Park, Watkins Glen State Park, and Shikelemy State Park, all located in um, Pennsylvania uh, in Loyal Stock State Forest. World's End State Park is known for its stunning scenery. This is a narrative they're going to give you versus what I'm going to tell you. Deep gorges and waterfalls. The park offers various hiking trails, such as Canyon Vista Trail, which provides breathtaking views of Loyal Stock Creek Gorge. Watkins Glen State Park. Situated in the Finger Lakes region, Watkins Glen State Park is renowned for its picturesque glen, 19 waterfalls, and Winding trails. The gorge trail takes visitors through narrow passages over stone bridges and behind waterfalls, offering a unique and enchanting experience. Uh, Chikelemi State Park, located at the confluence of the uh, Susquehanna River, West Branch, Branch Susquehanna River. Shikelemi State Park offers panoramic views of rivers and surrounding landscape. Visitors can enjoy various recreational activities, including hiking, boating, and picnicking. So, that's what they're going to give you for those narrative of those state parks. Now, as I ventured through the state, and uh, through these state parks, and as I ventured through the enchanting landscapes, how about that, of the world's and state park just think about that world's end why would they call it that because they named that a long time ago when they came and seen all those melted buildings everywhere and that's why it's a park folks but anyway we're going to keep reading watkins glen state park and shikelemi state park i couldn't help but be captivated by the mysterious remnants of a forgotten era scattered across the vast expanses of these natural wonders natural <laughs> They're melted buildings, folks. A surreal scene unfolded before my eyes, as if the parks themselves held echoes of a bygone civilization. Massive melted structures, their forms distorted by the passage of time, but stood like silent sentinels amidst the lush greenery. The ground beneath my feet seemed to tell a tale of once thriving community, now reduced to fragments of red bricks that lay strewn across the landscape. In World's End State Park, the deep gorges and waterfalls whispered secrets of a time when these now tranquil woods might have echoed with bustling sounds of industry. The Canyon Vista Trail, which promised panoramic views of Loyal Stock Creek, Creek Gorge, revealed glimpses of the mysterious structures standing defiant against the march of time. As I meandered through Watkins Glen State Park, the Gorge Trail led me through narrow passages behind cascading waterfalls, offering an intimate encounter with the surreal juxtaposition of nature and the remnants of human creation. Red bricks, weathered and worn, were embedded in the trail like ancient markers, leading the way through a forgotten history. Shikelemi State Park, with its breathtaking views of the confluence of the Susquehanna River, West Branch Susquehanna River, bore witness to a narrative that transcended the natural beauty. Here, too, the landscape told a tale of community that once thrived, now immortalized in the scattered fragments of red bricks, a silent testament to the passage of time. In the heart of these parks, where nature meets the echoes of the past, I found myself immersed in a narrative that blurred the lines between the untouched wilderness and the remnants of a forgotten civilization. The melted structures 
and red bricks became a poignant reminder that even in the most serene corners of our world, the echoes of history linger, waiting to be discovered by those willing to explore beyond the surface. See, where geology will tell you all kinds of lie narratives about that, meltology will just take you on a ride and tell you what that was, and you can go and look and tell by yourself just why I said without any tools and no eons of time, no crazy uh, ways to check for carbon dating and all this other nonsense, see? So that's the difference between uh, geology and uh, meltology. Meltology is real, genuine, 100% accurate, showing you. Now, here, Glenn, they just think about this, folks, here. Just right there, folks. Huh? Just think about that, that one right there. This photo I'm showing you right here. Huh? Look at that. Glen State Park. Watkins St Glen State Park. You see the walls, folks? See? It's all melted infrastructure. All strewn all throughout that area. That's why they redesignate these areas to be parks. <coughs> Same with municipal golf courses. Schools, insane asylums, parks, the same the song remains the same. All these parks have melted infrastructures all through throughout of them, all of them. And look at the names of some of them. Look at look, look this one. Con Con Nully, huh? Yeah, it's a con job, right? Signs again, you see the sign. And look, look look at the glory. So let's just redesignate this as a park and, and give us a narrative how this was built and why there's structures all strewn all throughout here like that in a worse shape than that. See, we in Meltology always tell you, you know, the vulnerability of the arch itself was its strength to survive such a meltdown that occurred in this realm. So its weakness was its strength. And you'll see that all throughout the realm as well, everywhere. But here, where I was in the park, where these three parks that I'm talking to you about, that's, that's a fact. And the song remains the same, you know. Uh, you know, Pennsylvania, the promised land, you know. You know, you know right here, this is, the picture snuck in here. This, this picture isn't from, uh, this is somewhere else that I've been as well. And this is Hocking Hill State Park. And this is Ohio. So I'm glad it's in there, though, because the song remains the same. All these state parks are redesignated for a reason, folks, because they couldn't get rid of the evidence. So they redesignate it and then write their own narrative with geology and, and narrative lies and so forth. And this was all already here, folks. What, what is that there? All oh, what they call mountains, it's all melted buildings, folks. Not some of it, all of it. Okay, Loyal Stock Trail, all melted buildings all throughout there. You go over top and you look down, you can see the fracture, the fractal lines, the dendrite lines from the electrical surge that occurred that melted this realm. And why is that hidden from us? Because all these, like, in, look, see, it gives you an example of that hammer against, you know, um, that melted building there. And you see the lines. And it came from the bottom up and down. So it started compacting those as it was sinking upon itself. Squishing it everywhere. Don't matter where you go in this United States of America or the world. It was all touched. So more meltification. More images of meltification everywhere. Greenery over top of it, red bricks. That picture of Ohio popped back up in there. Um, this is Pennsylvania here as well. Um, I'll show you that we just showed you that bridge, didn't we? Yeah, right there. So, I mean, I have a whole bunch of more pictures, but the point is, <laughs> for you to go look, go to these parks and look at the narrative, and go look how many municipal golf courses this. Uh, America has and you'll see that's what exactly they did they designate these parks where they're hiding the facts of the red brick past 
And look today, abandoned red bricks everywhere. Lie narratives. You start doing the research in regard to uh, what they would tell you and this and that. And nobody had accountability of who could produce that many bricks at this given time, all at once, all over. I had made videos about, you know, Star Fort in Florida that needed six, 16 million bricks, rather, and, uh, and so forth. And where are all the bricks coming from, see? And at that given time, there's 10 other star forts being built in all these municipal libraries and all of this. See, that's where they screwed up their timeline. So, and that helped us as meltologists. So, all these state parks, and those are some other ones we're just showing you, you're swinging by. Melted buildings, state parks again. Uh, another state park, you know, more meltification everywhere. All through throughout there and that's what that's what's been happening folks so it's a quick little video um, it is almost six o'clock I gotta go to dinner so there it is there's Bear Town State Park you know melted buildings red bricks everywhere don't matter where you go so you know Pennsylvania that's uh, Glen State Park right there with, you know, pockets of the water infrastructure still working of the past. So, over and over, the same song, same dance. Meltology is on the scene telling people what's happening. Um, so many pictures we have. We're, we're in the midst of writing a book about Meltology. And uh, it's a beautiful experience. And to... To be in the forefront of telling the story about Meltology is great. And just to see it come alive and to see their narrative fall apart. You know? So, the leaders in Pennsylvania should all be rounded up and welded in cells. And we need to get some real people over there and helping all those uh, uh, dope fiends get off the dope, get those people who are pushing that drug off the street and locked up with them politicians and cleaning up the city. Uh, I mean, when we'll be sitting around in their bunks, they'll be getting up and cleaning stuff up every day. That's what needs to happen. We need to wake up as a people and start rounding up these politicians and put them in their, their spot where they belong, in jail or get busy doing something for the people, not the lobbyists, you losers. And that's what you are in Pennsylvania. Now, I, I just, you can go on YouTube right now and see what's going on in Kensington, in Philadelphia Freedom, in Philadelphia. And these cops are standing around watching people die and shooting up. They're all scumbags. You all should be ashamed of yourselves. Every one of you. So, and that's going out throughout the United States and throughout this realm. So we need to stop that as a people. So red bricks to you all. Quick little walk uh, in the black mirror. And now I'm going to finish watching the rest of uh, Michelle Gibson's uh, video about giants in Appalachia. The trail of giants. And there were giant buildings everywhere. So there indeed was giants. You know, giants were considered uh, six foot five and taller. So there was giants uh, known in writings and written down from that height to, to 18 feet tall so kind of interesting so I'm looking forward to that seeing what she has to say about that but I just made this little quick video to say that and to, to let you know that I'm always on my job about Meltology have a beautiful day love your neighbor like you love yourself Meltology